Welcome back to the channel guys. Today we will be 3D printing out a gauge pod for the Toyota Cressida. Uh, firstly, before we get started, I'll run you through the parts and everything you'll need to get started. So let's go check that out first. The gauge we have chosen to use is an Autometer Auto Gauge Taco because it has a built-in shift light. You will need a 3D printer. I'm using the Creality CR10. You can pick these up for about 500 Australian human earth monies. You'll need a 3D design program. I'm using a Fusion 360 and a slicer. So what you're going to want to do with your, with your gauge, you're going to want to pick a spot in the car. I'm going to put it in front of the original taco because this taco doesn't work. If you've done an engine conversion, you might run into a problem as we have. So I don't want to cut the dash. So I'm going to take off this bolt hole here and this screw hole here and 3D print out something to hold that there. And the wiring will just go tuck around here and then disappear. So to do this, don't be afraid to use a pen and paper. You don't have to go all straight digital straight away. Sketching is a good thing to do. All right, so to get some, some general measurements, we're gonna need some tools. I'll be using vernier calipers and a little ruler to take some measurements. I am going to take some photos as well with a ruler in place so I know the size of what we're doing. And this will help on Fusion 360 as you will see eventually. Um, but besides that, you can go to town 3D printing. It doesn't matter if you make a mistake, you can try again. So now I'm armed with my cool sketches. I've got a side view and like a front view. Um, that's my more, that's the scale front view. Obviously my curves are a bit, how you going, but it's a lot easier to do curves, not by freehand, you know. But these are the main measurements we need. The good thing about this is the panel, this part here is actually flat on here. So it doesn't, we don't have to really take a curve into account here, so. That makes it a little bit easier. If your car is curved, you will have to model a curve in it. We don't have to, so we'll take these to the computer and then we will draw up a 3D model of something and we can make some variants and off we go. Put this sucker in. I've used Fusion 360 for my design. It's a two-piece design and uh, when you tighten it, it will like sort of tighten itself up onto the gauge because I've got these little slots in it. I've got the About the Build logo on the side of it as well and I've uh, popped some little gussets on the side just for some strength and it looks a bit cooler. Once you've made your thingy, you're going to want to export them as STLs. Depends what uh, program you use but you should be able to export them as STLs. You're going to want to then pop them into your slicer. I'm printing them in this orientation so I don't need any support material. Uh, if you print them upside down you would, but I don't know why you would do that anyway. You can now just check out your print, make sure it should work, then export your G code for your printer. Here's the design we've come up with, got some gussets as you've seen. It sits in here now, like that. So uh, let's fit it up and see how it goes. As you can see, it's got the locking in points of the slidey and um, we'll fit it up and we'll wire in the gauge and check out how it sits in the car. There it is, screwed in the car, a little bit of glare on there. Um, it looks pretty cool actually. So what happens now, that if you nip it up a bit more, that will lock the gauge in place due to the sliding design that I've made it so nip these screws up now it doesn't want to move cool now we'll uh, wire it in and uh, see how it looks now we've got our gauge all printed out fitted nice 
we can wire it in. I'm going to be putting a plug on it. I will be using one of these twitch plugs, four pinner, four wires, so I can have it plug in and out. So if we've got to take it out, we can. Um, I don't know how I'm feeling about the gold, to be honest. I ran out of black because I had a printer failure and the spool was caught up annoyingly, but I've ordered some black, so I will make another black one, but for now, I'll just roll with the gold. Anyway, there you go. Here we go. Tacos in, wired up. Works. That's the shift light. I just set it there for an example so you guys can see. Um, this is the power now. Just your average everyday procedure. It is all done. Light turns on on it and stuff. This little red thing is, I don't know, it's just where you put your red line, I guess. You, I've set the uh, shift light in it. It's super duper windy, very glary. But anyway, there you go. There it is in all its glory. Looks pretty cool. So when you're sitting in the car, you still got your taco, you can still see your temperature gauge. I mean, sorry, still speedo, taco, temperature gauge, your fuel tank and all that stuff, your economy meter, but it all works. So hopefully next time you see it, it'll be running down the drag strip. Uh, if you enjoyed this one, check out my other videos. They're on building this here Cressida, so there you go.